Hey there, what's up everybody? This is your nutritionist on the go, Kamal Deep Singh Ochla from Eru Diet Nutrition and we are back with a, one of the most important topics that a diabetic person should be aware of. This is fruits for diabetic people. Okay, now we all know that fruits contain a natural fruit sugar that is named as fructose and yes, fructose will raise your blood glucose levels. Now before I proceed any further, let me make a genuine request to all of you guys okay and i want you guys to please understand the reason why i'm saying this okay this is very important for your health the request i want to make is please at least twice a week check your blood glucose levels the fasting ones okay at least twice a week now consider you are checking your blood glucose levels on monday and your blood glucose reading comes below 120 mg per dl. At that point, I suggest that you can eat a little amount of fruit for the next three days. Okay? Suppose you're checking your blood glucose, your fasting blood glucose on Monday and it is more than 120. It's 125 or it's 140 or it's 160 or it's 180 or it's 200 or more avoid fruits for the next three days simple as that if your blood glucose levels are normal in the morning go for fruits if not avoid fruits okay nothing is going to happen if you avoid fruits for three days you have a whole lot of good foods that are diabetic friendly that will help you lower down your fasting blood glucose levels avoid food for three days now suppose again you check your blood glucose level on thursday and still it's high, avoid the fruits again. And if it is under the mark of 120 mg per DL, go for fruits. I wanna tell you guys that there is a very interesting study that was done on fruit sugars, okay, that is fructose. If taken in a proper amount, in a right amount, the fructose, the sugar in fruits will actually help you stabilize your blood glucose levels. Isn't that amazing? Who doesn't want that? You can eat fruit, that is sweet, and it will help you lower your blood glucose level. But the catch here is, the condition here is in the right amount. Okay, now you must have seen so many videos of doctors, nutritionists, dietitians, so-called experts suggesting you eat low glycemic index fruits or high fiber fruits. But have they ever told you what is the right quantity of eating the fruit? I suppose they haven't, but don't worry, Erudite is here and we never keep loopholes in our videos. I will always provide you guys with a wholesome information. We will discuss the right portion size for fruits. 100 grams of fruit, okay, you can eat that. What are the conditions? It should be seasonal, okay, that's very important. You have to eat seasonal food. Do not go for off-season fruits. It should be high in fiber. You have to have fiber. We've explained it. I have explained it many times. You need fiber food, fibrous foods. Okay, number three, the fruit you eat should be low to medium on the glycemic index. Number four, the fruit should definitely be low on the glycemic load. Okay, now glycemic index and glycemic load are two such terms that need to be elaborated. So I will do it in a different video, but I will share a list of fruits with you that show the glycemic index as well as the glycemic load of the fruits. Okay, now coming up to fruits which you totally have to avoid. You have to avoid dates, you have to avoid chiku, you have to avoid green grapes, you have to avoid lychee. Okay, plus apart from this, you have to avoid each and every type of fruit juice. I don't care if you are squeezing that orange in your home or you're getting a packaged orange juice or you're drinking a sugar-free, so-called sugar-free branded uh, apple juice or you're getting it from a shop or anywhere else even if it says that it contains added fiber. No two juices, that's it. Make one thing clear, no juices ever in your life. Not even if the package says sugar free. No juices at all, plain and simple. Now coming to the fruits that we can eat. So what are the fruits that we can eat? 
apples, pineapples, black grapes, uh, you can eat pomegranate, you can eat cherry, you can eat papaya, you can eat watermelon, all these fruits, kiwi, you can eat all these fruits, okay, whenever they are seasoned. Uh, oranges are one of the best fruits if you are a diabetic person okay so uh, consume all these fruits as per their season but in a quantity of 100 grams only now suppose you go and buy uh, one kg of apples okay the shopkeeper that gives he gives you five apples so what does that mean 200 grams per apple you only have to eat half an apple at a time okay same amount for all the fruits if you're going to have black grapes have no more than 12 black grapes if you're going to have cherries have no more than 15 cherries if you're going to have orange have half half the orange if you're going to have papaya eat papaya in a bowl okay just in a, a proper quantity which will help your body now what are the problems with eating fruits where are we wrong in eating fruits there are some things that you need to understand number one we do not eat fruits, we do not consume fruits on a regular basis. We buy some fruits and when our stocks are finished, we do not go and buy the another fruit batch. Okay, so this is our mistake. Eat fruits regularly, but if your blood sugars are fine, at least keep fruits at your home. Your rest of the family has to eat them, okay? Number two, we bring fruit that is too ripe. A raw apple, a ripe apple and an overripe apple will have different levels of fructose in them. As the fruit starts ripening, the sugars start to develop and after the ripe stage, the sugars keep on increasing and later on that fruit is actually spoiled now. Okay, so what do we understand? Fruit that has just begun its ripening stage. See, that's the sweet spot that you have to find when you next time go and buy some fruits. Number three, the common mistake. We eat fruits in a large quantity. We try to fill ourselves with fruits. Tell me how many of you guys who are watching this video, have you ever eat a papaya in a bowl? Have you ever eaten 100 grams of papaya in a bowl? I suppose no. You are habitual of eating a plate full of papaya, a plate full of watermelon, a plate full of grapes or apples. Okay, so stop overeating on fruits. Do not consider fruits as a meal. It's just a bonus. It's just an add-on. Okay, now coming up to our next mistake is we eat fruits post meal that means first we stuff ourselves with rotis and rice and dal and sabjis and chapatis and all that all those kind of things and then we cut the fruit and start eating them you have already stuffed yourself with so much food that is obviously going to increase your blood glucose levels and now on top of that you are going to eat more fruit definitely a big no on that one before summing up the video, I want to talk about mangoes. Now, mangoes are in season, plus mangoes are one of the most controversial ones because uh, I once heard a nutritionist say that a diabetic can eat mangoes as much as they want. Never mess with your portion size, guys. Do not overeat on mangoes. Now, listen to me. Mangoes have a glycemic index of within 50 to 55, okay? The amount of carbohydrates in them, when you convert, when you calculate the amount of 100 grams of mango and you calculate the glycemic load of the fruit, the value is 8. Now, 8 is considered as a low glycemic load fruit. So, yes, diabetic people can eat mangoes. But if you take a bigger portion of your fruit, if you increase the amount by 100 more grams, that is 200 grams of fruits, and now when you calculate your glycemic load, the load will come up as 16. Yes, the glycemic load of any fruit increases by the serving size. Okay, so you can eat mangoes when? When your blood glucose levels are normal. Okay, you're having a medicine for that or not, but if your blood glucose levels are within limits, you can eat mangoes in a quantity of 100 grams again. I bet nobody has ever told you that. Not surprised. So this was all for now and uh, I suppose you have now a better understanding of how to manage your portion sizes when it comes to fruits. Have it in limited amounts, have it in proper stage, have it in proper timing, have it in proper combination with your meals and the most important is manage your 
portions okay i hope this video will help you guys i'll see you guys next time stay tuned and take care of yourselves